Hi guys, this is Austin from AnyInstructor.com and in this video, I'll be going through my first impressions of the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate as a Data Analyst. So if you're curious to find out more about this program, stick around to find out more. Okay, let's get started. Alright, so let's jump right into the landing page of the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate right here. So it's currently offered by Coursera and in collaboration with Google and it promises that you'll be job ready in less than six months without any degree or experience required. I would say this is a pretty good thing that started by Google, a good initiative that allows people like me without any proper full experience in data analytics to have a chance at applying for data analyst roles as well. So let's look at what you learn from this course. So you learn some spreadsheets, SQL and R programming, as well as Tableau skills. These are some really good skills to have when applying for data analysts. If you look at the job positions out there, there are many of them looking for SQL, R, or even Tableau as one of the hard skills as a data analyst. Let's look at more about this professional certificate. As you can see, there are a lot of openings for data analytics with a very competitive salary of 67000 and there are also a promise of having 82% of the Google Career Certificate graduates having a positive career outcome, like a job promotion or raise within six months. That is a really uh, achievable goal as long as you do some of the projects along with the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate, such as the Capstone Project. So let's continue. Like I mentioned, there is an applied learning project in this course that includes 180 hours of instruction and hundreds of practice-based assessments. This is really useful for any data analyst that's trying to start out and get their first job or do a career transition to a data analyst. This is really useful because it helps you have practical advice and as well as some way to build a portfolio for yourself when applying for these data analyst positions. Having some background in presentations, spreadsheets, SQL, Tableau, and R will really put you uh, before, other uh, before other applicants when applying for a data analyst job. So that's pretty useful. So let's look at the main eight courses offered by Google in this certificate. Firstly, you begin with Foundations, Data, Data Everywhere. So this is more of like an introduction to people who are still new to data and giving some basic def definitions of each topic. And you'll also then learn how to conduct analytical thinking, self-assessments, as well as learn more about the job opportunities available to you when you're done with this course. So I would say these are some of the more basic concepts being taught in this course. In the second course, you'll learn more about data-driven decisions. I've actually gone through this course so far and it's been really useful and really good. And being a data, new data analyst myself, I found some of these information really useful in, because of the real-world business scenarios that have been given and also they will teach you how to use some basic spreadsheet skills that is commonly used among data analysts. In the third course, you'll start to delve more into SQL, which is a really useful tool that is used by data analysts for wrangling data and handling data. So in this topic, you'll learn more about SQL and some data sets and how to access the databases. So along the way, you'll be given some advice on how to extract data sets from Kaggle, how you can process them, so on and so forth. The next course, focuses mostly on cleaning data. So you'll learn a lot of intensive SQL stuff right here. It says that you'll be applying basic SQL functions for cleaning and transforming data. Now this is really useful if you're thinking of applying for a data analyst job because most of them would require some sort of SQL or at least a basic level of SQL before uh, landing that job. Let's look at the next one analyze data to answer questions. I've not actually attempted this course yet, but by looking at it, it says there are complete calculations 
with using SQL queries. So this is quite useful to know more about in-depth queries for SQL. This can really put you at the front line of all the job applicants out there when applying for your first data analyst job. But let's look at course 6. Now this section focuses more on visualization. Data visualization is the end product of all data analysis and it's really useful to have a tool that you can rely on such as Tableau for creating dashboards and as well as to present some of the information that you've processed. So all the data has to go somewhere, right? So having this tool will be really useful for data analysts as well because you'll be able to present your stakeholders very simply with simple and effective dashboards. Course 7 relies on R programming. So you'll be learning how to use R as a main statistical tool for wrangling data through the R programming language. In this course, it shows that you'll be using R Studio to apply R to your analysis and also having some fundamental concepts related with programming. You'll also learn some really useful packages such as the Tidyverse package, which includes dplyr, and also having some really good packages such as R Markdown to document your code. The last course is a capstone project that you will be attempting and it includes a complete case study program that you'll be going through based on real world job interview scenarios. And you'll also discover how case studies can be part of the job interview process. So this is a very important section of this course because it summarizes all the things that you've learned into one neat project. And this can be really useful when applying for your data analyst job in terms of providing a nice portfolio for the interviewers to look at. So I really recommend you to attempt this capstone even though it's optional to getting this certificate. I would personally be trying this out myself, so I will be giving an update on that in a later video in the future. So for now, let's look at some more information. Yes, so this will be taught fully by Google and based on my first few weeks of attempting, they have been really knowledgeable and they've been really enthusiastic in their course presentations through the Coursera videos. And the lectures are really in-depth and at the same time friendly and easy to digest. You can even view them on your iPad, you can view them on your computer, on your phone, through the app itself. So this program is offered by Coursera and it offers a three sorry, a seven day free trial that you'll be begin with and then you'll be paying 39 USD for every subsequent month after the seven day free trial. I would say this is really worth it and really affordable if you're looking for a very good certificate that covers a lot of ground in terms of an entry level data analyst requirement. So as a new data analyst myself, I've also found this really affordable for myself and I've been two months in the Recommended timeline will be a total of six months to complete this program, but I'm planning to finish mine in two months. So stay tuned for my progress on that. What I really like about this certificate is that it produces a really shareable certificate upon completion that you can be sharing on LinkedIn to build up your portfolio for your data analyst job applications. Let's look at the frequently asked questions. All right, so another useful thing about this course is that it will be preparing you for a data analyst position specifically. So there are a lot of things that can be gained out of this. Based on the Google Career Certificates program, they are designed to prepare you for an entry level role in job fields like data analytics. And you will also be having a certificate that you can share to the top US employers that are hiring entry level professionals such as these and of course Google as well. So currently access to these jobs in the employer consortium is only available to those eligible to, the, to work in the US, but it's expanding to the worldwide as well. So I would say this is really useful initiative by Google where they'll start pushing out more shareable certificates that can replace a regular degree, degree program offered by universities. So this can really put you on an edge out there if you have a bachelor's degree or if you do not have a bachelor's degree. 
but if you do have one, you can always add on with this certificate to stand out from the rest. So let's cover the cost for this program. As you can see over here, in the US and Canada, Coursera charges $39 per month, as I've mentioned before. And they recommend that you take six months of part-time study, which is about 10 hours per week. And they would recommend that you do it within six months and you pay no more than 300 USD, which is actually really affordable compared to the other options out there and for the depth and also for the career advice that you'll be giving to, it, to you for this course. In other countries where this certificate is available, the cost might be lower, but you do have to check the Coursera website for your country specifically for more information. Currently, it is stated that Google does not generate any revenue from these certificates and has some need-based financial assistance available as well. So if you are looking to have some sort of financial support in this program and if you can't afford the 39 USD a month, you can also apply to their financial assistance page as well. Alright, so now that we've looked at the curriculum of this program on their website, let me just share with you some of my thoughts that came across my mind when I was thinking about all of these curriculum. So what do I think about this course? The course seems well structured with eight different courses and even each of them covering the six different steps of the data analytics process. There is even a capstone project at the end of the whole course, which is pretty useful for any data analyst that's applying for any positions in data which you can provide a portfolio for your employer to look through. And it looks like it will be really applicable for learning data analytics tools such as SQL, Spreadsheets, R or even Tableau. And Google even claims that their information will be shared with US employers, which will then be able to hire you for your entry level positions. But there is a drawback for that, which is having limited career prospects outside of the US. This means that if you live outside the US, then these might not be so useful. However, there is also some mention of some expansion plans to countries in Europe and in India and even the rest of the world. I've put together some helpful information on this course as well as some of my first impressions on whether you should get it or not. You can check it out at anyinstructor.com slash google that's anyinstructor.com slash google or you can also click on the link in my description below. So I'll be completing this entire certification program across the next few weeks and I'll be sharing with you guys more information about this program and to see whether this certificate is actually for you. And I'll be sharing with you more about the depth of the content to see if it's suitable for beginners like you and also to see if it's sufficient for the entry level data analysts. I'll also evaluate exactly what are the career resources given to me at the end of this certificate and also to see how effective is the capstone project in terms of providing a nice portfolio for me when applying for data analyst positions. So if you're curious to find out more, you can also click the link to that YouTube video. Let's get started on this data analytics learning journey. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.